doing? Let me get this fired up here real quick. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay, so I'll wait for that to catch up. So, Jeff, I saw your comment. I know. A thumbs down before it even starts? How is that possible? <laughs> oh, all right. So what I'm going to do today is, um, again, we were just swamped working on the house, so we didn't get this project done. But what I did want to do is I want to make a small one today, and I'll kind of walk you through um, how I do these type of projects, because I basically... Robin says it hasn't done anything yet. It says I'm live. Maybe hit refresh. All right. I think I think I'm live. It says Robin's on. <laughs> it was just frozen. Um, so what I thought I would do was I ran to the plastic store and I got two sizes. One, I would just want to do a small one today and just kind of test it out and see how everything fits together because I want to do a larger one and make a lamp out of it. So it's old. Some of you may remember the old Texaco uh, gas pumps with the glass globe in them. So that's what I'm... Oh, that is what I'm going to make today. Uh, I'm going to do a smaller one. This is going to be the glass tube that goes inside of it. So we'll make all the little parts that go with this. And let me pull that up real quick. So that picture right there, it's on my left. I don't know if it's on your left. The taller one. How about let's go with that. So I'm going to make one of those. And it just kind of I wanted to just do a do a smaller one make sure everything goes together nicely and it looks nice before i do a bigger one and because i want to do kind of a, like a little desk lamp with a larger one um and then i'll kind of this is as far as my process for projects like this this is how i do them i pull a image up on the computer of whatever it is i'm trying to make like this and i just keep referencing that as as we go so we'll uh I'll get the camera switched over. I got the hot glue gun uh, warming up right now. We're going to, on something like this, I start with any pieces that I have to have to fit on, you know, in the project. So we're going to go ahead and make the, the top and the bottom, the little caps, the little black parts. And we're going to make those first, and then we'll size everything around that. So I'll recess the little tube down into those those two little pieces and then we'll make the base and and all of that later but i want to get get these ones right before i move on so that's kind of how i do it um if this is your first time here robin is on the phone with me my wife and she will relay any questions so i'll be turning and she'll if you have any questions pop up just let me know and i can answer them uh what i'm going to do is hot glue on this piece here and then we'll start turning it and shaping it all right. Hi, everyone. I hope everybody, everybody in the U.S. is having a good uh, Labor Day weekend and everybody else is just having a great weekend. All right. So let me uh, get this warmed up here. I'll switch cameras here real quick. And so you can see what's going on right there so i have a waste block in here this is just a piece of ma maple and it's just cupped out just a teeny little bit it's just kind of if you put a flat straight edge across there you would see a little bit of daylight all right so let me get this out of my way put some hot glue on here it's regular hot glue you just get it at the craft store. There's nothing special about it. Just make sure that you got a big gun that actually heats it up. So press that little guy on there. Everything looks pretty even. And just press it on there and it wait a couple of minutes um, for it to set up so it doesn't come spinning off and hit you. So it's a small piece, so it's it's going to hold it just fine. Um, I've been using hot glue for years and it, it works fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the actual, the top part first. So I'm going to do it in, in two pieces, but 
the taller one there, I'll make that little dome part first and out of this piece and then the disc on top I'll make separately later on and then we'll do that one and then we'll do the little disc on the bottom there and come back over here all right so does anybody have any questions oh that that does Definitely date you if you used one of those, <laughs> Harold. <laughs> I I personally wouldn't say old, but uh, but definitely older than me. I would think. All right. <laughs> I know everybody's everybody's going live, and we're getting we're putting together another. Uh, another uh, uh, craft festival on the 19th getting everybody lined up for that so that should be fun we're trying to get different people on doing different things so should be should be fun all right I'm just gonna take a roughing couch and true this up real quick and then we'll just start and then we'll start shaping it Luckily, this week we have audio right off the bat, so no hang-ups there. All right, should be good. And then what I'm going to do is pull this away and put a recess in it for the tube. So there if you if you look at the gas pump there's actually a, a, an outer tube that goes ar goes around it i think that holds the gas harold can you can you tell us <laughs> whether that was what held the gas because there's another tube that comes up through the center so that's what i'm going to do i got two tubes because i really wanted to to do this at nightlight and make it look kind of you know realistic so i got another little tube that's going to go in the center so i'm going to drill a hole for that and then this will go over it so it'll look like you know there's there's that second tube in it all right let me get this out of the way real quick and then all we're gonna do is grab our calipers go ahead and set those up for that this uh the wood is uh maple it is i think it's ambrosia maple actually you didn't miss it. well you missed the hot glue part i i hot glued i hot glued it on but n not much you're all all good all right we're making an old antique gas pump. And so just took calipers there and just touched the, the one tip there on it and that creates the ring. Don't don't touch the other tip. It'll try and rip it out of your hand. And we're a little bit high on that. Hi, everybody. Glad everybody could make it. Just going to go inside that just a little bit. And so when I was, was when I cut the tube, I actually made them. I made them three inches, but I'm going to recess it in there a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom so that when it's all done, it'll be, be two and a half. But we'll just keep testing that so it slides it slides in there nice. And so what I'm going to do on the, on the other one is I'm going to actually, I'm going to dye the wood so that it kind of... Get. 
So you would pump it up how many gallons you wanted and it would fill up that, that chamber. Well, that's kind of, because it, it did have a, like, a little gauge on it. I wonder if that's, you pumped it up and you wanted 10 gallons or... That's kind of cool. So I'm just recessing in there for that other little tube. And it's just trued up here real quick. And so I'm just leaving a little n raised part in the middle there. But I need to grab this with the chuck here in a second. So I'm recessing it back in there just a little bit so that I can grab it with the chuck and turn the top part of it. Oh, a gallon at a time. Wow, that would take forever. Oh, wow, right? I love American Pickers. It's an awesome show. Yep. Huh. So you'd only put in a, ga a gallon at a time. Seems like it'd take forever. Hey, Bob. Yeah, we're... Uh, So there we go. And then the other other little tube is going to go. Let me switch cameras back over. So that tube's going to go right in there. This tube is going to go into the center and it'll do the same the little piece I make will do the same thing. So that, it, the gas must come up there and then filled up that chamber, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was kind of looking when I found the picture. I was looking at at it pretty close to try and figure out because they actually have on the on around the outside of it they have like they look like brass. I'm not sure what they were, but it looked like they were brass rods that held the whole thing together and bolted it to it. So I was on the bigger one. That's what I'm gonna gonna do. Turn this up real quick. And then we will, I'm going to go back to the picture and see exactly what I'm doing. So this is kind of what I do all the time when I'm making these. So they, j I just look at it, it just kind of goes up straight a little bit and then it's domed up and has a little knob on the top. But we'll just, uh, it's fairly thin, so... It seems like everybody out there has used one of these things, but me. So we'll just bring it down just a little bit. And then, uh, let's go ahead and come in so... We don't waste all this wood. And this is just a, a fine detail gouge. And then we can grab it with the chuck and turn it around. 
and <laughs> right I I'm like 70s kid I don't even know what they look like in the 70s I'm sure they didn't look anything like this they probably weren't real fancy <laughs> right i've seen them on that on that show and they're they're expensive i mean they want a fortune for them with they're restored and everything yeah there we go so that'll all go in there and so then i'm going to switch jaws here real quick and then expand them and we will we'll uh put in oh you know what Root up. They're not big enough. Now, how am I going to do that? We're, huh? Let's figure it out on a live show. I, see, I don't show you that that I screwed up the size, the the cut, <laughs> the little recess I did right there. It's just barely too small. I can't get the jaws in there. So, so we improvise, right? Hang on. Oh, wow. That, that would be kind of cool. I know a lot of people over here, like, uh, set them up at their house. They're car collectors and stuff, and they have, like, little, you know, g fake gas station thing there. Yeah. All right. Just start pouring all over the floor and the ground. Yeah. All right. So I'm making a jam chuck to fix this, but actually, what I have to do is to make a jam chuck, I have to recess that so it'll actually go into it first. Huh. A shot glass. No, I, I we ran to the plastic store um, yesterday and picked up some actually some tubes. But a shot glass is a good idea. All right, that would be kind of cool looking. So I'm if you weren't here for the very beginning, I'm I'm gonna make a big one of of this um, as like a desk lamp, but I just kind of wanted to do a test one, and I figured I would show you. Apparently, all my screw ups is how we how we work. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I'll show you the, the glass here real quick. It's just just a tube of plastic. I bought a bought a foot of it and so it's just gonna lock right in there like that, like so. Which way did it go in? Just like that. And then it'll recess down in that other one. And then I got a little teeny tube that'll go in the in the center of it. All right, I got just a little bit more. Yeah, we're doing the the uh, craft festival again with with some different 
folks on it uh, on the 19th. And then the weekend after that is the the um, uh, Woodturners Worldwide. They're doing their uh, virtual symposium. So plenty of stuff going on. Level the back of it out a little. Ooh, little tight. All right. If you have any, yeah, if you have any questions, you weren't here. Robin's on the phone with me, so you can relay them. This would have gone a lot faster if I had made that inside a little smaller. I believe this is ambrosia maple. Um, it is. Yeah, it's, uh, there it is before, well, it's kind of burnt from the saw, but yeah, it's maple. All right, now we're gonna just round this over. Oh, it broke. Ah. Uh, hmm. It just snapped right off. Erg. I. All right. What are we going to do about this? All right. goes right back on there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to make the bottom why this one is drying. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. Huh. This is the worst live stream ever. Oh, there we go. I'm blaming Jamie. Let's go that route. Ah. CA. All right. We're going to let that set up. Why we make another why we make the other side. All right. <laughs> there you go. We'll we'll let that rest. It's like like a good steak. You have to let it rest, right? Okay. All right. Back to it. Now we're going to try and make the bottom and have it not break. Let's pretend like we're starting over. Cut. I think we're just going to keep yelling cut the whole time <laughs> maybe maybe this was a bad idea showing you how I how I uh, work through the pro projects <laughs> all right we're gonna do the same thing on this one uh, I'll show you the picture again real quick we're gonna do the the little bottom part that little plate where, where, that it sits on 
<laughs> There's no singing. Well, that's apparently I had a bunch of comments on there about thanking me for not singing, which was not cool. I, I have a very pretty voice. Robin, Robin keeps telling me that. Okay, not really. Okay. We're going to make this one a lot smaller so that it will work better. Let me give you a better angle here. There we go. We're going to make it teeny. So that we can use the chuck with it. Bruce, uh, you have you have to wait till the end for the singing. That's that way, not not too many people leave before then. It, it's brutal, Bruce. Bruce, I was. Uh, can you give Bruce a wrench or put Bruce's Instagram page up on the thing, Robin? Oh. Uh, yes. Go check out Bruce's Instagram page. Oh. Bruce, I love that maple burl that you burnt. That was amazing. Beautiful piece. go and this little guy's gonna go down in there and then it's all gonna go together like that and then the top once it dries will come right down on it and that's all flush so it'll all lock together in there all right now they want now the British want want credit for our gas pumps. <laughs> these guys, these guys just won't give up. Yes, you bet, Bruce. That was I loved it. The burning was amazing. It looked so cool. I'm going to, I, just for the record right now, I want to give Bruce credit for fire. I mean, you get credit for creating fire, Bruce. All right, this one's quite a bit smaller, so we're just going to do that. Come over to the side here. So on the other one too, I'm gonna get some plastic or some rubber hose and I'll make it look like there's a pump and everything coming down it or a nozzle and everything. All right, so this one. Look at that. That was professional right there. It heated up the hot glue and popped off. Perfect. All right, now we're now we can get the jaws in there. Hopefully I don't open them up too much and break them. All right. All right. 
Now we can get the little pin jaws. Slide them in there. And then we can use these. There we go. No, I don't think so. That's the first time that's ever happened. It was running right down the glue line and just, just popped it right off. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. Now, we're just going to round this over. And so on the picture, can't really see that much of it, but it looks like the base of it just slides right up in it so we're just gonna kind of create that little that little look there so just oh create that little little tidbit so that it slides up in there and it goes in in a way So, and what I'm going to do with the with the other one, I the bigger one is I'm going to dye each of these pieces. I'll dye it, dye them black and red. So I think it I think it'll look pretty cool with light inside of it. <laughs> yes, Jamie. <laughs> Clean this out. Oop. Don't go down too far. Hit the jaws. Doesn't need to go in there very far. So yeah, on, on the bigger one, I'm gonna make the um, the tube hollow, and I'll put the light down inside of it. And then what I was gonna do on it was, because you want the the glass ring on it, and you want the the tube in the center, I was gonna it's gonna be it's three inches around. So I was just gonna poke holes with my little Dremel tool all the way around there, around the outside of that ring there so the light would shine up into there and then come up into the glass tube but you would still be able to have uh, you'd still have this solid and and that right there and then this would be just full of holes so that the light would come up through it so that's what I was gonna do with the other one so that will go right on there like that and then we'll make the base for it I'm gonna let that other one uh, dry a little bit more and then we'll we'll make the the base right now. All right, I'm gonna actually put these back on. Everybody seems pretty quiet in the chat. In the chat, there's no. Uh, This is another piece of, I believe it's maple. It might not be. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Yes, they are fantastic. They're super easy to change the jaws and, yeah. Definitely worth the money. Yeah, I just, uh, I used to have three, three chucks, and now I, now I only have one. All right. All right. Slide 
this up. <laughs> Come on, is, is there anybody out there in the chat has like questions or anything? Because Jamie's just gonna keep going with uh, his shameless plugs. It's seven years, Jamie, from head to tail. <laughs> <laughs> you like that that Harold that is an adjustable spanner it's uh, poplar <laughs> it's custom I made that custom all right I'm going to take the roughing gouge again and true this up and then we'll they'll make the bottom part of it and I think we're good on the camera Oh. oh, thank you, sir, but I, I already have a larger one I got, and uh, so I'm going to, hopefully next week we can do a project video, and and we're going to make a desk lamp out of it. So I got, I already got the plastic for it. We just, uh, we've been just trying to get the house done, and... It's just taken a lot longer than it should for for a younger man. If we were younger, we would have it done. Nice, awesome, Josh. not be disappointed I was oh see my thing fell over my piece that's drying yeah what Jamie was saying about that seven year warranty is they just they don't have problems with them so. Roughing gouge? Oh, yeah, I use, I use them all the time. I use the roughing gouge and the carbide. I go back and forth all the time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, they were, they were backed up quite, quite a ways. It's... Uh, I believe it's maple again too. It might be. Uh, I th I think it's just a piece of straight grain maple. Yeah. Uh, probably now it's or really close. This fall it would start start uh, working on uh, Christmas gifts because it. Come a lot faster, you think. Uh, Scott, Robin, Robin, and I that's what we probably work on most is project ideas. It's trying to come up with, with something, you know, new and um like like this i just i don't know i was i don't know what i was doing i was looking something up online and it wasn't even that and it was like a ad for like a reproduction of one of these and and i thought well i could just turn one so it's kind of and it was you know they're, they're neat old you know antique things i just figured why not just do one for a project but we spend a lot of time trying to uh, 
come up with project ideas. All right, let me test this real quick and to make sure that it's gonna fit. So, yes. Christmas, oh, yes, Christmas is coming quick. All right. Yeah, that's not what I figured. I was just like, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I like, I, these are my favorite projects is, is something like this where I, you know, can just find a picture of something and, and, uh, just come out here and make it. I, I like doing rather than, you know, I don't know, turning, you know, a bowl or something. I would rather like piece something together like this. I I enjoyed this part of it, trying to make all of it fit and look good. And that's what I normally do is just like keep going back and forth to the computer and see how it works. So it's not not a lot bigger at the base than it is at the top. So it needs to be a, quite a bit slimmer. Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, a teapot, Jamie. I'm. Why are you gonna bring that up? I. I. I will probably turn some blood pudding before I make a teapot. Which, by the way, I looked that up. I don't know why we looked that up. Yeah. Oh, right? So we looked up blood pudding, and I don't even know why, but the other day, and it was, you use like a quart of pig's blood. Where would you buy pig's blood? Is that something you could pick up at the 7-Eleven? That Walmart have that? It was like, whoa, gross. It looks like sausage, so it's probably actually pretty good, but yeah, we looked up how to, like, how to make it, and it was, ew. The first thing is, go buy some fresh pig's blood, and I thought, no thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, it turned to Lighthouse quite a while ago. Um... Um, I put uh, LED lights in it and like put a little crystal in it. Yeah, it was I actually made quite a few of them. I made uh, I can't remember what we did with that one. Um, but we uh, um, we put a crystal in one of them, and then I did another one where I took. You know the old insulators off of the uh, power lines? I used an insulator and put that as the glass part. And that one was really cool. I found an old one at an antique shop or something. And yeah. Why is, why is Robin laughing? See, that's I. That's what I just don't understand. The pig blood thing. Gross. Any any recipe that starts out with a quart of pig's blood, I'm probably gonna pass.
So, pretty sure it's got that little thing in it. Oh, a pasta, somebody, pasta press. A butter bell mount, I'm not sure what that is. All right, so look. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate that. Yeah, I just like, you know, I mean, I don't know, just always trying to, I don't know, I, I, I enjoy that part of it is trying to figure out, you know, something new. We, Robin and I are constantly like researching stuff. So that is going to pop right in there. I, I do have a little nub there that, uh, hang on one sec. Let me, let me mute the microphone for just a second. Yes, Jamie, I know there's other things in it, but it's super gross. Hey. All right, I just sanded that off. All right, that pops right on there like that. So I, can you see that? Yeah, we're on the right camera. I don't really like the way that, that looks right there. I think it's too big. So I'm gonna put this back on the lathe real quick and turn that down just a little bit. And then we'll uh, then we'll grab the top top piece. Oh, yes, we we uh, well not we. I say we, right? I didn't do it. I took the front door off, and Robin's painting it, and she found this gal on YouTube that does like. Uh, like it looks like wood so she painted this garage door and it looks amazing and it looks like wood so Robin loved it so we I pulled the front door off and she has been painting the front door all day you paint it like yellow and then you brush over it with brown and then like a black and she just got the black on right before we went live like through with one minute to spare it's like, uh, okay, I'm going to hit live, but it looks, it looks awesome. So we'll let it dry for a couple hours and then I'll, I'll put it back up. Yeah, it looks like, just like wood. It was awesome. This gal did a whole garage door and it was just a, you know, white, Plain garage door. There we go. Uh, would the chuck fit a comet? Yes, they have different size size threads um, that you can get them in the inch and a quarter, or one inch, I believe, and then they also have metric. So yeah, you can get it. I like that better. It it just oh, it's a little lower lower profile it got blends in a lot better and then this little guy will go right on there like that just like so and then I think it's gonna make a cool little desk lamp yeah all right let's see if we're if we're good to go with uh, where did I put it now right here all right hopefully that's all right okay well, let's see, see if we can't turn that Get this little guy back on here. Yeah, they uh, have, um, um, I believe it's one inch and inch and a quarter. Is If you go on their website, you can, it, but when they, they actually, it's, it's it already done inside. You don't have to have an adapter or anything. And then they make a, a metric one.
Did I turn what on? The lathe? Oh, yes. I know, it's nice and quiet. All right. Let's clean this up and see if we can't get it a little better fit. I think it may have popped it. I'll put a piece of tape on it this time and see if we can can't uh, not not break it again. Okay, so it just barely fits on there. But it's not quite. Is it going down inside of there? I don't think it is. Hang on a sec. Ooh. Let me clean that out a little bit. If not, we're going to have to hot glue on another piece. That is barely on there. All right, let's try it. What's the worst that happened? Let me make another one. It's all good. Just a little bit off. I'm down on, on the other side. Oh, well, it didn't break, so let's use tape. How about that? Is everybody still there? Let's try this. Hopefully it won't be too much and pop it off. Look at that. That's right there. It's putting wood back on. Okay, come on. Don't break. Break on me this time. All right. There we go. Okay, I'm going to cup out the the end here. Let me switch cameras for you real quick. And the re the reason I'm doing this, cupping it out like this, is because that little globe that fits on top, I'm going to have to cut a groove in it. To, so I want that cupped out a little bit so it sits down inside of it. I'm not sure what the actual ones look like, but I know it had a l some little detail up here, but I need that little area to go inside of it. Got it. And then this little little thing right here on your calipers work great for popping these things off. Just like that. There we go. Yeah, and it just cupped it out just a little bit and then I'll cut a slice in it for that little top. So so far, here's what we have. I need to pop that down on there, but there we go. 
And then I think it would be super cool to have the light down in here and have that, that lit up. And you could get a, a yellow, like LED, like a yellow light so it looked like gas. All right, let's turn the base now. Let me, uh, I guess I need a, <clears throat> another piece of wood. So, so let's put this little guy in here. We'll straighten, straight, straighten that back up. Thank you. Yeah, all came together. Yeah, we, uh, all right. <clears throat> We have, you want to, we could do like a, hang on one sec, let me, that's what? Oh, useless mallet. Huh, it's, it's an English mallet. Yeah, the, this one is inch and a half. The other one I got is is uh, three inch, but they actually have uh, uh, tubing there that's six or eight inches around. I mean, you could actually, you know, make a big one, but it, it's cool. Um, so I got a couple of minutes. So if you have any questions, throw them up in the chat and I can answer them. Um, while we're waiting for the hot glue gun to heat back up, we're going to do another another uh, little piece on there. Actually, we'll do two of them, but no questions. I, I don't work well without questions. I mean, even if it's just picking on, picking on me about my singing, When am I going to take my wife on vacation? I'm assuming Robin wrote that. <laughs> did did did, Ro did Robin? Oh, she didn't even write it. She's just wondering. Yes, we need to. She just wants to get away for a couple of days. She goes, just get in the camper and go. We have been, I don't know, last six months or so, just nonstop working on the house. We just got it painted. We still have a couple things we have to do the e we have to do the eaves on the house so whenever you get the eaves on the house all done we can go on vacation nothing she's got nothing <laughs> I, I i said whenever you get the eaves on the house done we can go on vacation <laughs> Oh, Brian, Brian, I, I get beat up. I, the last, last time I sang, even somebody watched it after it was live and they said, uh, that don't quit your day job. Ron said that. It's like, all right, hot glue. Where's the hot glue? Do, do, do. Where'd I put it? Oh, right there. All right. Who do we have, Jamie? Who do we have so far for the 19th for the virtual uh, craft festival? We already have quite a few people in. I'm waiting to hear back from some people too. Does the lathe have an hour meter? No, no. Um, no, it does not. What do I think of the 4040 grind? Um, I don't know. I've never, I have no idea what. I think mine's 42 or something or 45. I don't know. I've never, it works. The one I have works great. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't know. It, they all, everybody has their own grind and they do their own thing. So it's all good. 
but I've never used it. All right. Roll, heat it up. Crank this in, put some pressure on it. All good. Oh, see, now you guys all jump on the Robin bandwagon. We, yeah, we were going to go to the beach, take the camper to the beach or something after the weekend. So everybody was gone. So it was nice and quiet. Yeah, nice. We got a good lineup so far. We we got uh, some other people are messaging back. Well, uh, we or we haven't heard back from yet. Y yes. So it, the old angler. Where are you at? Are you in? old Ohio angler oh okay were you did you say something on the video and you were gonna ask your daughter or was that somebody else somebody else okay yeah we somebody said on the video that his daughter was taking glass blowing and uh, he was gonna check with him but I I gave him my email and never heard back does anybody know of anybody on YouTube that does glass blowing I found a bunch of glass blowing, but it's like somebody else filming them do it. So we were looking for somebody that could do it. Oh, I. Oh, sorry. See this. This is where I get into trouble because Robin's telling me everything. She just said "old angler" when she's talking to me. She she left out the Ohio part. So it's her g g get into it with her in the chat because I did I only know what she tells me which obviously isn't right <laughs> yeah but somebody was gonna ask their daughter if they wanted to do it I would love to have a glass blower on and be awesome Oh, start learning. Oh, that's awesome. That would be really cool. All right. Now I pull this away. Come in here and, oh, you know what? That's not going to work. Because it's too, it has a gap right there in it. That's not gonna, not gonna fly. All right. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna make the globe out of this, or the little, the little globe on top. So, all right, little change of plans. I need to find another piece of wood. But we're gonna make the little disc that goes on the top of it. I think they call that the globe. Oh, see, I have the wrong camera on. All right, let me let me switch back over for a second. Let me get get right up in here. All right, now we can now we can come back over. So I'm gonna make the little little disc that's gonna go on on top of it now. Yes, Bruce, I did. All right. The globe. So we're making the globe now. And 
So on this one too, on the on the bigger one, I'm actually going to segment this because I want to do a red red star on it for the Texaco. Uh, beginner lathe. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few. There's Rikon. Um, what else? Do they, they Rikon has has one. I mean, I'm not sure what you're, you know, how much you're looking to spend, but uh, um, I know Rikon has some. The globe is just a hair bigger than the than the top. All right, sorry, I had to look at the picture. So we should probably, probably caliper that. It's just a hair bigger than that. It's probably actually right at the same size. All right, all right, I think we're good. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, does anybody have any other? If, if you want, a, like, a smaller one, um, oh, the globe out of the paint chips, that, that would be cool. And just for the record, ro record, Robin just called you the old angler, said you should, you, she said it again. She keeps trying to put that in my head. Oh, she said, that's how I know you now. From now on, it's just the old angler. All right. Robin's looking for the eye roll emoji. found it she's all good now all right so I'm gonna do that little little actually that little ring there oh Nova comma yeah Don't let her get away with it, old angler. She, Robin said she just likes to shorten everything. You could just call him angler. <laughs> oh. Yeah, or, or, yeah, most of them have smaller ones, or even look on Craigslist, or, you know, I mean, there's, or even, like, turning clubs, a lot of times some people will upgrade and, and put up, a, put up, put up lathes for sale. Oh, sorry. Thank you for the heads up. Sorry. Look at that, amazing. I put a groove in there. Sorry, forgot to switch the camera back. My bad. All right. Yeah. All right. Just trying to get them get them close to even, because once I pop it off of there. We're, uh, 
I can maybe use a little suction, the vacuum truck to do it, but I just want to get it, get it close. How many lengths have I had, or where were they talking? How many lathes have I had? Well, I made my first one that wasn't really a lay, that was just kind of a mess. So let's see, and then I had a Delta. I bought some big, giant monstrosity of one, so two. And then I had another Delta and then the Powermatic in this one. So what is that? Six? I think I think six. Yeah. And then I have the the Harvey in the in the mobile shop. So there's seven. Um how do I uh which parting tool to use? Um uh, it just it which how do I decide which parting tool to use so it's it's just kind of like I so I use the regular parting tool the this one when I was putting those holes in the center of it just because it's easier to do some something like that to go straight in but and I could have used it out here but the other one is like it's um, uh, flares out at the end so it's just easier to hang on to it I don't have to waste much wood and you can just push it straight in and you don't have to make little relief cuts on the side so it just it works better for stuff like that so I just I kind of I mean I've used both of them three or four times during this project it's just kind of whatever works best good Christian from Sweden, good evening. We are working on uh, an old-fashioned gas pump. And this is the globe for it, yeah. I'll show you a picture here in just a sec. Yeah, we're, so I'm just doing a little one, so that will go on there just like that. And like I said, I'll cut the cut that off of there, and this will sit right down inside of it. And what I'm going to do on the bigger one is I'm going to segment that the Texaco star in it. I'll show you a picture of them, Christian. There, that tall one is what I'm actually making. So it's. Looks like this. This is what we have done so far, and then that globe will go on the on the top of it. So uh, I was just kind of doing a test. I'm going to make a bigger one with a light in it, so that it will be a little desk lamp. So now we just need to make the base for it. So move on to that. Yeah, you can kind of see in that picture there. There's a. I have another tube that goes up the center, but if you like, where to blow that picture up? There's. It looks like they're brass rods, and I can get those at the hardware store and and uh, put those in to make it look a little better. All right. Let me. Uh, then, all right. Then let me grab. I need another little piece of wood for the base, right? The base flares out. Base flares out a li little bigger than the, than the, whatchamacallit, than the globe even does. All right. Ooh, this might work. Okay, we're going with this. All right, let's put that in there. All right, let me take this out. And 
Hang on, I'm going to pop back over. And I'm going to use my custom-made adjustable spanner. In America, in America, we we call a, an adjustable spanner a crescent hammer. All right. Uh, what, did I plan on using wire for the hose? So what I'm was gonna do it was, uh, I yes, I was gonna use. Um, uh, uh, Romex. I was just going to take a piece of Romex, cut it apart, and use the black wire in it. And that way I could kind of bend it wherever I wanted. I thought that would be, be the best thing for it. So that is going to work, but I have to get rid of that part of it. So we're going to go over here a little bit so that it... I, that I, so that I turn that part of it off. All right. I only had the paramedic for about a year, I think. Um, and and then I got the robust. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't very long. Uh, am I planning on coming back to Oklahoma? Yes, probably uh, maybe next summer or something. Um, we can make it back up there once everything gets back to normal. And and uh, yeah, we're probably going to drive drive uh, to the AAW show again. So yes, we had a had a great time. We had a, um, Aaron there at the Oklahoma City Woodcraft. He is he's awesome. We had a great time. We just been a few days there. All right, I'm going to use the roughing gouge again and just true this up real quick. We got a good view. Crank it down. Oh. Can you guys hear that ambulance? Jack is our little dog is going crazy in the house. It's just spinning on the spur center is why it's stopping like that. We almost got it. This is the bottom of it, the base. Robin asked me what I was, what part I was making. So we're almost done and then the, the singing will start. I have the Wolverine sharpening uh, system. No, I don't have. Brian, I have not the Wolverine. It's the Kodiak one by Wood Turner's Wonders. And I use CBN wheels. And it, you just put it in the jig. It, they're all presets on it. And you just, you just set it up and turn the grinder on a take a couple passes and you're done yes uh, yes it 
it, it was sliding. I just, just, uh, I just tapped on the on the thing. It should be locked down. And for the record, she just said old. Said your head stock sliding, and <laughs> she did not. I'm just kidding. She did. <laughs> if I'm gonna get get grief for singing, I, I want to share the. I want to share the grief. Okay. Uh, question about hot glue. So, I have I've done what's a, probably a 12-inch bowl on it with hot glue, and you don't there's no it's just the cheap hot glue you get at the craft store there's nothing special about it 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 uh you just need a large glue gun it the little glue guns won't heat the glue up enough to make it actually work for something like this so you you want to get a, a big gun and they have um, I, I have like an Amazon link somewhere and the gun in there is like an 80 or 100 watt. And they're probably a little more, and they're, they're more expensive than like a little $10 one at the craft store, but they, they hold on to it. So, or they heat it up enough. And that's really the only key. It's, if it's a dry piece of wood, it will, it will break the waste block before the glue joint breaks. So I would not worry about it one bit. I've been using it for 20 years, hot glue, and I haven't had uh, haven't had a piece come off on me yet. In fact, I even did a video. I had it in the chuck and I hit it with a hammer and just uh, show everybody that it, it just snapped the maple waste block in half. And the glue joint held so totally safe and comfortable and yeah just the cheap glue all good oh did i make that too small i did what is oh this is welcome to the worst live stream in history it's two th 2020 right Uh, oh, you have a Ryobi? Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I think that's like one of the one of the bigger ones too. It it really, as long as it gets hot, I let mine heat up for a couple of minutes um, to get it good and hot, and it won't uh, it it won't won't come off on you. All right, Brian, have a good one. Brian's leaving. All right. What am I doing now? I'm doing the base, right? All right. So we are going to make that little base right there. And this is going to go inside of it. And that's perfect. And so let me get that trued up and then we'll, then we will, uh, Put some marks in it. Working on the base and gonna use the calipers and the so that large part of it is gonna come in there. So you just kind of you can kind of see there. What camera are we on? Oh, let me switch over. So you just hold just that tip on it. So if you hold it out here, you would you would see that the it's way over there. You know, the closer you get, 
it's going to come together and if you're right there then they then they match up just don't touch that tip to it because it'll it'll try and rip it out of your hand or slam it into the jaws Oh, the, oh yeah, just heat it up with the other thing. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, like I said, I've been, 20 years I've been gluing stuff to the lid just like this. And not one time did the, the glue joint break. Okay. So and then... When I get close, somebody was asking me about the parting tool and things like that. So when I get close out here, the heel of this hits, so it won't give a give it a true that'll hit on the on the side there. So depending on especially on the diameter, so that's when I switch over and and just use the little parting tool to. Harold, that it seems mean this like there was one before it was it the one with the singing that was my worst maybe he just means the one where we didn't have any audio or maybe he means that was the best one All right, right there I'm blaming it on 2020 Yeah, this has been amazing for us. We we've gotten so much done around the house. This is like, yeah, we're normally on the road traveling all summer long, so it's like by the time we get a chance to work around the house, it's raining. Uh, getting all the hot glue off it should peel just oh you know what Harold it, it peels off but uh, oh, what is it and I keep forgetting to try it um, uh, alcohol rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol or denatured alcohol one of those things I can't remember somebody left it in the comments it'll actually you put it on and it'll actually release it too so you don't have to part it off. I can't remember. One of those two things takes it off. Uh, somebody just got, uh, easy wood tools, uh, you, Yolande, uh, keep, uh, you keep getting catches with the easy wood tools. Um, so, yes, uh, so I, I do use negative rake tips, but not on, on, like, the one I've been using here on the, today is just a regular tip so so as far as getting getting catches with them um unless you're like way out over the tool rest if you just hold it flat like this let me let me back this camera up hang on one sec back the camera up switch angles for a second bear with me Oh, hairspray gets the glue off the wood. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Um, so as far as getting catches, this, if, as long as you keep your tool rest uh, about an inch or so away from the, away from the workpiece, it depends on certain tools. So on something like, like this one, if you, if it's this far away, it's resting right there 
and you're liable to have it just push back down when it's out over over it then it's hitting there but as far as just in general try and keep tool rest as close as you can but this is can you see that in the video i'm literally holding on to it with two fingers it it won't try and pull it out of your hand the only time it'll try and catch is when you get way out over the tool rest and then it's just from gravity it's the force of it going down but if your tool rest is up close just like that i'm literally just barely hanging on to it and i can i can actually push it into the wood and it's not going to catch because all the force is going right down into the tool rest so i i would just make sure your tool rest is is up close and that's gonna that's gonna save you a lot of hassle just don't don't have it back too far um and keep keep the keep them level all right that's good Uh, the negative rake is just is is for resin and super hard woods. So if you're getting catches with the regular cutters on resin, go get the negative rake because they will eliminate that. They won't catch any more on you. So I would I would. Yeah. Yep. So just it for the the resin. The negative rake are fantastic. So it looks like, let me look at my picture here one more time. Looks like it. So I change them every probably three or four months. Um, I just slowly keep rotating them around. With resin, it might be a little more often if, if you're turning a lot of resin and stabilized wood. But as far as stuff like this, a tip will last me uh, three or four months. So let me bring the switch. <coughs> yeah, they're not they're not cheap, but they'll they're. Uh, they're last a lot longer than the rest of them and some of the other ones you can you find aren't even really sharp when you get them so i mean yeah hey robert good to see you yeah i mean and i've had that tip on for i don't know quite a while weeks or months or you know and you get little whispers like that out of it still so I'm just kind of kind of rolling it over and kind of trying to make it look a little bit like or like actually not a little bit I'm trying to make it look like the base that's on there all right and then we'll come in with with that other parting tool and that that's why I grabbed that one is because it you can just push it push it straight into it even with that with that little recess we did there if you want to flip it around and and sand up the or finish off the bottom of it you can can do that too anytime you put a little recess like that it helps out sand it up just a little bit oh i did i somebody asked me to i, was, I forgot to to get the the where'd it go? I got a few coats of the of the uh, clear. Hang on a sec. Where'd it go? I don't, now I don't know where it went. Oh, I hung it from the ceiling. <laughs> it's not done yet, but I got a. 
I got a few coats of the clear on the little pot we did last week. But, and it really r made it rich. But the wood was so punky, all this up here, is, it's just still soaking it up. So once I get it all done, I'll, I'll, I'll show it. But yeah. Uh, how long does the easy wood party tool um, stay sharp? I uh, probably about the same amount of time. Um, I I want to say because I don't use it in anywhere near as much as I use like the other tool. It I don't seem to change them nearly as much as I change the other one. Um, yeah, it's kind of I'm not. Ex sure on that one. I mean, I guess if I used it all the time, it would probably be, be the same. They switched here a couple months ago, and now it's all one piece. They used to just pop in and out, but uh, hang on a sec, I'll, and I'll show you. So, so they used to that tip used to just come out of there and you would just change that little tip but now they you just change the whole thing it's all uh, one piece now that's a little carbide but it's it's locked in there so you just take these out and buy a new piece and put a new one in so it's a lot more the problem before was the parting tool is meant or was meant to just go straight in and straight out it's meant to it's a thin parting tools to save wood but what happened was people would like try and use it like a regular parting tool. And when I say people, even me, I would try and like round over the little corner here or something and it would twist. And so I was always taking pliers and trying to smash it back together to get it to lock in. And th that works, just a pair of pliers to get it back. But, you know, and the, the tip would fall out and you'd lose it in the sawdust. So they just decided to simplify the whole thing it's all one piece you just take these two bolts out put in another one and then you can actually use it however you want to and so it's gonna gonna work out much better for everybody because when i first got it i was trying to roll corners over with it and stuff like i do with my other one all right let's stack this thing up yeah and then uh on the uh on the other one let me Switch cameras here real quick. Hey, Jim, how you doing, brother? Get that down there. Clean off the lathe. Get this out of the way. So, all this goes on here. We have this piece that's going to pop right on there. So this little guy is going to, okay, right, I might have to do this upside down. Because this little thing is going to have to wiggle around till it, just like that. All right, there we go. Yeah, so I got another little tube down inside of there, and then this one, I'll just take a little Dremel tool and cup that out, and that will sit right in there. What do you think? Fun project? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye this uh, this red, these black, and then I'll I'll segment the the little ring there. Yeah, I just wanted to do a test and and. Just kind of work it out, work out all the little pieces before I do do the bigger one. I was I'm gonna have a three inch one. I'm gonna put a light in it, and then it will shine up into the globe. And then we'll do the segment the little Texaco star in there. And but yeah, it's fairly easy project other than the thing that broke on me. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of slowly working through it and 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 fitting. Yes, yeah, somebody mentioned using the paint chip for the uh, angler. <laughs> mentioned using a paint chip for the glove, which would look actually really cool. So we might do that. Uh, where do you get gas pump kits? I, I ran to the plastic store. And hang on, let me show you. 
I, I just ran to the, it's a place called Tap Plastic here in Portland. And they just, they sell, it was, so I ran, th ran there yesterday. Um, this is the tube. I got a, a foot of these. These are the two tubes here. And then I got big ones because I'm going to do, do a big one and that'll be the, the lamp. Um, I just went up in size. So I bought a foot of this, foot of that, foot of each of those. And I think it was like $16. But they do have like, you can get like, this is three inch, but you can get, um, I think they had six and eight inch tubes. So you could kind of do whatever you want if you wanted to do a big lamp or, or something else. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. And I'll, like I said before, what I'm going to do is drill holes down in that, this little cup, cup piece here. So the, the light shines up and fills that up and I'll get a yellow light. So it looks like gas. Let me back this up real quick. Sorry. Oh yeah, I did. So I did a lighthouse. Robin's putting the link. She said when I was younger, that really hurts. That's, ouch. That, that gets you right here when you were younger. Um, yeah, I, we did a, a few styles of lighthouses. One with a little crystal in it. And then I did one, the insulators for the, um, uh, for, for the old power lines. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a fun, fun project. I just kind of wanted to work through it and see see what what it all took. And yeah, it's pretty pretty quick. And yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll dye all the little pieces. Yeah, I really like the paint chip. Uh, the easy wood tool tubes. Yes, so I I think Jamie said that too. But they're they're not real rigid and. Um, they would probably work, but, um, they're only one size. I think they might have a couple little sizes, but I think the biggest one they have is probably two inch. Um, but yeah, yeah. And they're, they're not, you know, I don't know. I wanted something to kind of beef it up, but I also want to put in on the bigger one, those little blast brass rods. I'll show you the picture here one more time. So if you just came on, here's. The one on the far left, the tall one, and that's the one I'm I'm going to make the bigger one in the lamp out of. And I'll get some uh, Romex wire for the for the gas hose. Yeah. Yeah. And then just do all the little detail stuff on it. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it'll think it'll be cool. I like the paint chip. I can maybe actually do just recess that and put the paint chip in it. And they used to have this all wood around it. I could actually just inset it into it like a little pendant. That might be really cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of just look like a lighthouse. Maybe Texaco, maybe that's it. They just stole their idea from lighthouse. From the English. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. So if anybody has any questions, we've got a couple of minutes left and, and, uh, um, we need to get to our weekend. <laughs> hey Mark, how you doing? What am I making? I'm not making anything now. I already made it. <laughs> uh, we did an old gas pump. Yes, test. We're going to do a bigger one. I'm going to put a light in it, make a little test light. But it's an old Texaco gas pump. And so we'll, on the other one, we'll dye the wood the red and black and, and uh, put a light inside the little little globe there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we'll do, do a bigger one. What saw did I use? Oh... Oh, when I just cut that off, I, it's just a little, little pole saw. I leave it right behind the lathe. That's all I use it for is cutting, cutting little things off. Just like that. It's just a little cheap, uh, 
It just says flush cut saw. I don't know. It, you know. I know it wasn't very expensive. It was just one I, one I uh, had laying around. Um, but yeah, it works great for taking little stuff off like that. But yeah, this, is, this all works good. How tall will the other pump be? I don't, uh, oh, the bigger one. So I don't know. Let me hang on. Let me, let me take a drink first. All right. All right. All right. Let's see how tall. Do I remember? Oh, that's right. Robin asked me. We did a Bob Ross video. It was the birdhouse. It was a birdhouse. We may. <laughs> thank you, man. We did. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, we did a Bob Ross uh, a video. I made a birdhouse, and we it was. Uh, he's awesome, and we. I can't remember what it, what video it was. So, so this one. It, this one's 11 inches with the globe on top. So I'm assuming, so this one's going to be this big around and I have to proportion everything to it. So I'm thinking it's going to be at least 16, 18 inches tall. Because I'm, it, it's, th this globe is, or this uh, tube is twice as big as that. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty tall lamp. I mean, it's, yeah, probably probably closer to 18 or 20 when I'm all done because I, I have to proportion all the pieces to this. So, yeah, I think it'll be a nice a nice piece. Oh, Robin just put put the video up in the link. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Um, as far as, oh, uh, somebody asked if we do regular streams. We don't do regular like Saturday. It's, um, and we, we, it seems like we're doing a whole bunch of them and we are probably are right now, but it's just because we're trying to get stuff done around the house, get it painted and get stuff fixed before summer's over. And then with the virtual craft uh, festival, Every month we're going live on there too, but normally we d we don't have a schedule where we just go live once a week. We just have, we're doing the project videos and then go live every once in a while. But, um, but yeah, they're they're fun and and uh, so we got another one coming up here um, on the nineteenth. We're gonna do um, another one, um, but yeah, we'll we'll throw them in. It's all all good. All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, we will see you. Hopefully, we will have this project done by next Friday, <laughs> and you will be able to see what what the my original plan was, and we'll get the get the light and everything in it. But until then, have a great weekend. Everybody, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. <laughs>